shocking things that we are sent as federal government and LC failed to agree on details about Ajaro's arrest. My people, my people, you know say this Ajaro matter where be said they can't arrest her. Recently so. No be something where be said they go just forget like that too. You know say all those kind matter. More things go come out of ammo. So my people, my people, when I go come here waiting they follow the arrest of the Joe Ajaro will be the NLC president of Labour Congress. So you can see say the recent arrest and detention of the president of the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, will be the person of Joe Ajaro by the Department of the State Service, where we know to be DSS. It don't trigger a public spat between the federal government and the labor movement too. Mr. Jean Ajaro, as he be say, he come to travel to the United Kingdom for the World Trade Union Congress, where the WTUC conference so, they come arrest him and detain him for about 15 hours by the secret police that Monday. He was billed to address the global gathering of workers on behalf of Nigeria workers. So, several individuals and organizations, including Amnesty International AI and the Trade Union Congress, TUC, joined the NLC to condemn the arrest and the con demand is released. So, Mr. Ajaro, who was seized by the operatives at 7 a.m., was released at about 11 p.m. The same day, the incident, however, has led to claims and counterclaims between the president, Tinubu led federal government, and the labor center. You can see, say, in a statement shortly after the arrest, the NLC can't describe the development as a brazen act of lawlessness and intimidation because Ajaro did not declare wanted by any law enforcement agency. The Congress can also say the arrest amounted to not just stopping a lawful citizen from traveling no, but also sequestering his freedom is an affront to our democratic and natural rights as a people and as workers. So it called for the immediate and unconditional release of its president. The federal government, however, dismissed the claims saying Mr. Ajaro's arrest was justified because the labor leader, he refused to honor a law enforcement agency's invitation. In a statement to the special advisor to the president on information and strategy will be the person of Bayo Onanuga, he insisted that the arrest had nothing to do with his role as NLC president and rejected accusations of human rights abuses. The Nigerian government was wrongly and falsely accused of rights abuse because the NLC president, Joe Ajaro, was stopped from traveling abroad after he snubbed the invitation of a law enforcement agency conducting an ongoing investigation. Nasser Onanuga, he can't make a clear. The presidential aide, Con Adedo, he said Ajaro, who likely considers himself above the law, was later to speak at a conference where the UK's Trade Union Congress leader, 
attacked Nigeria. No one is above the law, and it was rightfully placed on a watch list by a sister agency. However, in a statement that on Wednesday, you can see say the NLC can reported the claims saying no formal invitation was issued before its leader's arrest. The NLC Act of Information and Public Affairs will be the person of Benson Upper in the statement. He can say Mr. Ajaro had been in direct communication with the Director General of the DSS just days before the incident. According to Mr. Upper, he said the DG can spoke with Mr. Ajaro on the night of Saturday, where B say na seventh of September, he said during which the labor leader informed him of his upcoming travel plan. So he can say the two had agreed that any meeting would take place after Mr. Ajaro's returns on Friday, where be thirteenth of September. There was no summer. That Ajaro ignore Mr. Upper come make and clear. He said nothing that a previous conversation with a senior SS official had resulted in a tentative agreement to set a meeting after Ajaro's return to the country. The Congress leadership was assured. It would be given 48 hours notice before any visit. The union comforter said Mr. Ajaro has, has a status of, as a law abiding citizen and an internationally recognized trade unionist who has never shied away from cooperating with government agencies. It is not in his character to disregard official invitations. Now, so Mr. Upper, he can't add that though, pointing out that Mr. Ajaro had recently honored an invitation from the police, underscoring his respect for due process. Meanwhile, Mr. Ajaro's lawyer, where the mass were upper, he don't criticize the SSS. For misrepresenting his client's schedule, he can they accuse the agency of deliberately trying to undermine the NLC president. Mr. Oparakon talk say the labor leader he don't inform the SSS of his planned trip to the UK for an engagement with the World Trade Union Congress and had committed to meeting with the agency upon its return. He can't tell them, say, it would be available on Monday, where we see still September, and they agree. Mr. Oparakon said in an interview with the media, this arrest is a calculated attempt to disrupt his work and weaken his influence. So, my people, my people, the way this matter they go, if not so it can't be, it should say our government, they know they do things according to the law because the manner at which they take arrest Joe Ajaro, it they very embarrassing, you no. Know? So my people, my people, this matter, we all know say no go just end like that, so more information, it go come at all. So I go end up the matter for you. This na bleach channel. I better make you not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.